Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of The Great Teacher Orkadan. If you are a beginner or advanced player of Soul Calibur 6, you may have already asked about the two parry mechanics, the guard impact and the reversal edge, and in which situation you would use one over another. That's why Orkadan is here today. Before starting, here is a quick summary. First, we will review in depth the guard impact. Then in the second part, the reversal edge. For the third part, we will conclude by giving the rules to follow and the situation for both of them. I added a bonus part specific to the postcard impact situation because it's where some characters can really become tricky, forcing you to switch between the two mechanics. Don't forget to check the top left corner of your screen if you don't understand the notation used in the video. I'm Hayate and without further ado, let's start with the guard impact versus reversal edge breakdown. Fast but short, the guard impact is active starting the second frame, making it really good to use in string between attacks with small frame gaps, on wake up to quickly parry, on neutral to quickly try to react to a fast attack. However, its active window is short. It remains active 9 frames, so from the second frame to the 11th frame. You can't cover a lot of speeds with that window. When you are at minus 8 frame disadvantage for example, you will be able to GI enemies attack from I-10 speed to I-19 speed, but you will lose against a bit slow launcher like I-20. Shifting the momentum with moderate reward, the guard impact interrupts while also having a safe exit possible, unlike the reversal edge where you are forced to go in the rock paper scissor sequences. The reward is moderate and non-guaranteed. It opens your opponent's guard for an amount of time depending on the strength of the attack you parried. Light attacks parried will open their guard for 28 frames, medium attacks for 16 frames, heavy attacks for 8 frames only, so nothing can threaten them. Even without his guard, he can still try to guess an incoming attack by parrying you back with a regi or reversal edge. If you score hit within that window, your combo damage will also be scaled in damage, but not in case of a parry back. The damage reward is around 35 to 50 damage in general for most characters. Note that guard impact gives only guaranteed attack when used to parry a projected attack, because the opponent can't parry back and the opening can be bigger depending on their recovery. Less risky and cost less, the guard impact gets moderately whiff punished in general, because it's hard to react to whiff a GI and punish it with a launcher. It costs less guard stamina, costing 10% when you miss it. It will recover everything back if it's successful. However, the guard impact is a bit weaker to slow attacks, speed variation or delays, but also against heavy strength attacks, because you nearly get no reward by parrying them. Like Reversal Edge, it's universally vulnerable to break attacks and unblockable. However, the resist impact introduced in Season 2 lets you burn 50% meter to parry those moves, but you often get the smallest reward as they are often heavy type attacks. Slow but easier to use, the reversal edge is a completely opposite and complementary mechanic. His activation needs 6 frames, so it's really hard to use in most string gaps. Since jumping or stepping can also be done in 6 frames, it's generally better to judge than to use reversal edge when you have enough time. It's also really hard to use when you get up from the ground or when you are too much negative in frames, because the opponent will have a wider range of attacks that will hit you before the activation. On the other hand, Reversal Edge has a big active window and can be extended by holding the button for a long period of time. It lets you parry a large variety of attack speed even very slow attacks. Immediate reward, meter gain and bigger outcome, the reversal edge don't interrupt your opponent's string, but if you release it successfully, you get a guaranteed damage around 35 damage and a lot of meter gain. 
Right after you will be put in the rock paper scissors sequences so it doesn't let you safely exit. You are committed to risk more or win more. The guard option is still risky because you lose a lot of guard stamina and can have your guard bursted. I recommend you to check my other videos about reversal edge sequences. In this video I will remind you that by initiating it you will have a small advantage because a tie will launch a second round of sequences where you will be rewarded by lethal hit stun and win tie this time. However, since every character has variable reward on option A, B, K and dodges options, it will become a deep minigame where the risk reward can vary a lot and will be hard to control. More risky and costing more, the reversal edge has a big recovery and is reactable by a step punish. It's also weak against fast recovery attacks because your opponent can step the release of your reversal edge and punish you. Also depletes much more guard stamina, around 19% and only recovers a portion of it after each successful parry. Don't forget that it's dangerous against strings because your opponent can make you fear a follow up so you will hold the reversal edge so they can step punish it. And finally, like the guard impact, it loses to break attacks and unblockables but the release can sometimes enter very slow and blockable. Let's conclude in that section and try to have some quick rules to follow. So when do you use the guard impact? When you don't have much time like in string gaps, okizeme setups or when you want to react to something really fast. When you need to switch the momentum in string pressure as it interrupts it. Against fast character with a lot of light attacks in general. When you want a safe exit because you don't want to put your remaining life or guard stamina. So when do you use a reversal edge? When you have a bit more time and the opponent is varying the speed of its attacks. Against slow characters with slow recovery attacks or slow recovery stance options with no strength. When you want to build meta, for example early in the match. When you can afford putting a lot of life in races or you want to turn the table by aiming great reward. When you want to finish your opponent with the guaranteed reward at the end of the round. In conclusion, I would say Guard Impact is more useful overall if you manage to master it. The more you will learn about the game and the attack's timing, the more you will be successful using it. It gives a better risk reward management with safe exit possible, which is important in high level matches. But the reversal edge is still a good defensive mechanic to start using at beginner level, because it's tricky to punish and yet a value of mechanic even at high level against EV attacks slow stance character or when you want to IM for bigger outcome. But don't think it's not gonna get punished at higher level. The post GR situation is interesting to work because it's basically a mini game where the pirate player has his guard disabled and can defend himself by either using a guard impact or a reversal edge to parry back. If you know your heavy attacks or quick recovery attacks, you can mix them or use one of them to force your opponent to use only guard impact or reversal edge and punish the other option. It's also important to know as a defender if you face a character like Nightmare because his instant AGA gives him lethal hit combo as a reward in post GI and you only get plus 8 frame reward by re -GIing it. This won't dissuade him and force you to use reversal edge but therefore opens you for longer bite punish if you guess wrong. You don't necessarily need a big reward like Nightmare to imitate that strategy. If your opponent parry back consistently with a specific parrying mechanic, you can secure a round by doing an attack that is safe to that mechanic fast recovery attacks against reversal edge or heavy type attacks against guard impact. And even more, be, be careful, both GI safe and reversal edge safe attacks that are fast enough to be parried back in post GI situation exist in the game. It doesn't give you a lot of reward in general but it's the most safe option to do in a post GI situation and help you securing a round. And that's it for this video about guard impact and reversal edge. 
Don't hesitate to watch it multiple times if you need it to fully understand the depth within these two complementary mechanics. I hope this video helped you and if you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to support my work and share it to help Soul Calibur Gids getting more attention. The next episode of the Great Teacher Orkadan series will cover the neutral. If you really don't want to miss anything, want to interact or vote for the next contents, I just opened my personal Discord, here is the link in the screen and the description. You will find all my contents archived and categorized and will have notification for every Twitter short video guideline, Twitch lab or event stream or YouTube video I post. I hope to see you there. As Orkadan says, we all still have much to learn. Take care and see you next time.